Hi there, this is David Swain with Service Star Realty and I'm talking today about leveraging and appreciation. In this video we will examine the relationship in between leveraging and appreciation in real estate. We'll look at some examples of how leveraging may affect your returns over time and help you figure out for yourself what is a comfortable leverage for you to achieve your goals in real estate investing. The idea is to dial in the ideal loan to value on your property where your returns are maximized. At the same time, we need to make sure that you're meeting your cash flow needs. That are the two, that's the two sides of the coin. Let's take, for example, you purchased a home for $150,000 and you put $40,000 down. Well, you're earning a nice 5% cash on cash return, but now the asset appreciates and seven years later, your property is now worth $210,000. Your equity in your property is now twice as much, but the cash flow has not changed. Your return was 5% on the $40,000 invested, but on the $100,000 in equity you now have, the return is only 2%. You may start thinking that you can get more mileage out of your money elsewhere. Is it time to consider a new plan? What would be the selling cost if it was worth the exchange of your investment into a higher value asset or another more expensive property or perhaps two other smaller properties? You need to run the numbers on your investment periodically and figure out how your money is performing. You can buy a property outright for $300,000 and have no debt service and you would keep all the cash flow and have only the maintenance and taxes and insurance as expenses. You have an investment that's $300,000 that's appreciating at 3% annually or $9,000 per year. You would also have a tax depreciation right off the, the bat and save approximately $3,000 on your tax return. In this example, that, three per, that is a 3% return on your investment. Scenario two would be, let's say you purchase three properties, each worth $300,000 and you put $100,000 down. You're still investing the same $300,000 but with three separate properties. Now you have $900,000 in, in a real estate asset, appreciating at 3% annually. That's $27,000, and the direct tax savings is also three times the amount at $9,000 per year. Your return on just those two income streams are 9% on your $300,000 investment versus the 3% you were, were before. Now in scenario number one, you were keeping more of the income and rent, and that needs to be considered as well. How much is that? It kind of depends on the property and that is why you need to run the numbers in a similar fashion with your own figures to, to arrive at a, a very exact calculation on what is the best place for your initial investment as well as when it's time to switch up your current property to a bigger one or perhaps multiple ones. We have tables and spreadsheets that help figure out all these different possible scenarios quickly and efficiently. We'd be happy to sit down with you and run through a couple of scenarios with you to help you maximize your investment. Feel free to call on us. We love to help. Thanks for watching. David 